So if you could define faith in a sentence, okay, and, 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 and if, if it's Bible, if it's a Bible phrase, go with a Bible phrase, but how would you define what faith, faith in God is? Um, I feel there's a difference between faith and knowing. Um, and faith is a step before knowing. And I think I like Paul's definition in the Bible, actually, that faith is the assured expectation of the things hoped for. In other words, you have an idea or a vision of what will happen in the future, and you hope that that particular vision will occur, and you have a strong desire for that vision to occur, and you feel at some point in the future it will occur. And, and that, that would be faith. But that faith, actually, once you get to a condition of alignment with God, faith changes into knowing. Now, perhaps I can illustrate it a different way. You know that this wall is energy, and you know that your body is energy. So theoretically, you should be able to manipulate the energy in some way so that you can walk through that wall. Theoretically. And many of you may feel that at some point in the future you will be able to do that. Right? But how many of you have done it? Well, the Superman, I could go through that wall. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Without destroying it. Without, oh, well, that's, that's <laughs> And <laughs> so, so how many of you have actually done the go walk through the wall? None of you. Have you? No, I was not. Right. Did you in the first century? Were you able to do that? No. No. But theoretically, it's possible, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. So, right at this moment, you could say that we all have faith that it's possible. But the, at the moment that one of you do it, will be the moment that you now no longer have faith. Now it's reality. Yeah. And faith is what leads you to reality. How so about it's trust? Stepping stone. Trust. Um, yeah, trust is a, a little different in that trust, I believe, is actually a state that you're in right now, whereas faith is more about the future. Like Faith is about, about future trust, if you like, whereas I feel like trust is about what's actually happening right now. Do you trust God right now? If you trusted God fully right now, where would you be, you think? Right here. Be able to walk through the wall. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you'd be able to walk through, you know, you'd be able to do those things if we trusted God fully right now. So obviously we don't trust right now either. And trust a lot of times is damaged right from a very, very young age. Mm -hmm. You look at a, a person like Luca's age, three years of age, they obviously have a lot more trust in what's going on around them. They don't even consider anything could go wrong, mm -hmm. do they? And it's only as we grow up that we uh, start, you know, considering that maybe lots of things can go wrong. And obviously they do through the law of attraction based on the injuries that are within our soul. A lot of things do go wrong. What we perceive to be wrong, in reality what's happening is that our souls are just being triggered with these emotions. And if we allow ourselves to work through that, we'll see how beautiful everything was. But we don't even trust that. So every event that happens to you, trust that you create it. Would you say hope comes before trust? You hope that you can trust? Maybe. Where does hope get in this? Um, yeah, I think all of these qualities are uh, all unique in some way. Like hope, hope is definitely more about a, fu a future thing that you're, you're wanting to achieve or wanting to be you know, in terms of a state. Uh, whereas uh, trust, I believe, is something that is right, is what is happening right now. Do I trust right now or not? Hope is something to do, a lot to do with the future. And uh, if we have no hope, in other words, we feel hopeless, that is a very, very soul destroying place to be. Yeah, because you can't even see it. You can't even yeah. start hoping or, you know, That's right. wondering. And there's a lot of people in the world today who feel hopeless about love. And there's a lot of people in the spirit world too, by the way, who feel very hopeless about love too. And uh, because they feel in, so there's been so many negative things that have happened in their life in the past that uh, their whole viewpoints of love, if you like, have been devastated. And they don't believe there's any way out of that. You know? And uh, that's a terrible place to be, actually. When you lose hope, you lose a lot of uh, things uh, that are worth living for. Well, you, you have no life, it's like you're nowhere. Yeah, yeah. 
it's sort of like the anxiety of thinking that you're going to recreate what happened in the past and the future, and, and it becomes hopeless because all you can really see is the past. That's right. And you're projecting it into the future. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's why it's so important to really allow yourself to deal with your emotions from the past because they affect you so much about what you perceive the future to be and even what you perceive your life right now to be.